much do you love the block? Not very much. Not today, not this week. Everyone said last week was Hell Week. This week, I think, is the real Hell Week. That's Jimmy's pack down there. And he can't get to one because Luke's is on top. Hey, Luke. They're your boards. Yeah. Jimmy's waiting for his pack, which is down here. This is yours there. Ah, oh, it's good. That's good. They need to slow down a bit. That threw me a bit. He was literally just hanging around. You're too busy, Lucky. I got it. Yep. Everyone's quite stressed. But, I mean, mm. it'll be okay. Hey, Harry. Oh, Jesus. Keith again. Yeah, Keith. What's, I've just realised right now, what's, what's going on here? The way I see it, that should be structural concrete. So basically, Harry, we now have to pull all these bricks out. Oh, exactly. Every single one of them, get rid of all the mud. Then we need to form it all up again. This is pretty hard brickwork to do. Now, these guys aren't bricklayers. Yep. I think for an intricate bit of brickwork like this, you have to get bricklayers. It's now Wednesday. Three yes. days to go. I have no bricklayer. Painting at night is a good idea. There's just one problem. Well, if it's under 15 degrees, you know, it's not going to work. Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy song. We've organised a few heaters. We'll crank the heat up and hopefully it'll rise up so we can just keep painting the facade of the house. I was planning on spraying tonight, but I'm worried it's going to drip and a few people have said don't even waste your time. I know someone's already thought of something. All right. There's a way that you can be done. Yeah. And they've figured that out. I reckon the person who's figured it out is Jimmy. Jimmy, you give us some tips, mate. Go and ask him. I'll ask him later. Hopeless. He's hopeless, mate. He's been lazy all day. He could have been painting today. Word of Foreman Dan's dissatisfaction has reached house two. It made me very angry. Yeah. Very angry. Yeah. Did not stop today. He did not stop today, and it makes me furious that people talk like that about him because he busts his ass every day. <laughs> like, he works so hard, this guy. That's a joke. It's a joke. Last night, I had to insulate the entire other side of the house. And as I was about to start, I was climbing back up into the house. You are right? Oh, oh. oh, Did you hurt yourself? It's swollen like a balloon, so I need to go get it checked out and x-rays. Not ideal for challenge day. So today's challenge is called Selling in Style. Oh. Inside this apartment building are two empty apartments, which you have to furnish and style, all before and open for inspection at 4 p.m. this afternoon. So who are our judges? Who are we looking uh, It's a secret, Cheryl. We're not telling them who the judges are. Who do you want, Harry? Sarah and George. Jimmy? I uh, will take Luke and Jazz. Yeah, we didn't get picked. So, Harry, would you like Jade and Daniel or... The mystery box. And my team have agreed to pick the box. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> you have got six hours. See you later, gang. Go for it. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Beck Judd came through with Nicole. Um, she's local to the area, so um, it made sense for her to come through. <laughs> I think it was a bit nervous. 800 square metres internally in here, which is fantastic. 800 square metres? Uh, 180, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this was invited, uh, inspired by the Greta Villa in California, so that was my mistake. OK. So, a Greta Villa for Team Harry and for Team Jimmy. The inspiration from Chris Connell was pulled from the Getty Villa in, in California. Ah, the Getty oh, Villa. <laughs> yeah. Right. May I remind you what you are playing for yeah. today? Domain is offering $20,000 in prize money for this challenge. Right. Ladies, please, put us out of our misery. The winners are... Team... Jimmy! Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh.